everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am here to film a couple things. The first thing that I'm going to film is I'm going to film a, I guess technically it's an unboxing. I've already taken it out of the package, but I have not opened it from this point of my very first Happy Scrappy subscription. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to do my 2019 Franken Planner for my happy planner, my big happy planner. So um, I'll get into it a little bit more on what I'm doing with my big happy planner, but I really wanted to get into this because I think it's so cute. And I opened it today. I got it on Saturday, I think, or Friday. But the problem is, is that I was out of town. So when I got a notification that it had been delivered, I was so bummed, but I was very excited to come back um, to see this. So let's get into it. First of all, I love the packaging. It kind of reminds me, kind of reminds me of like a Harry Potter-esque. Um, I know it's not like it's very rainbowy, but because it is in like this fun envelope, envelope, that's why I kind of feel like it reminds me of Harry Potter. So let's see what's in this. Okay. Oh my gosh. So much stuff. Oh, even comes with a pen. Oh my gosh. Look at that pen. It is so pretty. It's like an ombre pen, purple to yellow. I love that. Okay, I'll definitely be using that. So here is this cute little glitter pouch. Um, holographic pouch, sorry. Oh, I like it because I was thinking that it was the packaging that was making it so dark purple. But I like that it's... I like that it is darker so when it's like this it's not dark but then when you pull it up you can kind of see that it's a little bit darker i like this not sure what i'm going to use it for maybe holding some stickers i could even hole punch it and put it in my planner maybe hole punch it over here and put it in my planner that would be a lot of fun okay so let's see i did see um she posted about these and i was so excited I had purchased these so uh the first one are my stickers what's up with my stickers again guys this is i'm opening this for the first time with you so there is not much other than what she has posted on her instagram that i know about this so oh i like it it's on vinyl that's cool okay so we have some cups that looks like these could be yeah they look like they could be tabs because it's um these are not cut right here so they could be folded over and made as tabs we have some quarter boxes some more of the coffee mugs so cute some today and to do headers i like those they kind of remind me of the sticker nails though that's the kind of downside but that's okay uh, these also look like they could be tabs. Nope, they are not. They are not. They are just individual mug with a quarter box. Looks like some date stickers. The days of the week stickers. I like her vinyl. This is really cool. Oh, and it's perforated right here. That's cool. Oh, pretty coffee mugs. I love all of the sparkle some full boxes sorry if you hear some rumbling that is my um laundry <laughs> i have to catch up on some laundry since we were out of town so these are some full boxes and some half boxes i love the the hollow sparkle okay let's see what these inserts look like so i love these <gasps> oh my gosh that is cute and i love the quality of the paper and these are some cute inserts that look like note pages. You could use them as days, like use this as a day and then use as your to-do. You could even, I could see you doing like a diary or memory plan on this. And then um, the back bundle is, are note pages. Okay, so there is that. Okay, and then this, let's see, it looks like they're acetate maybe. I don't know why I've never gotten a subscription box before. I love them. So here is the pen holder and it is the leather and it looks like it is stamped with the same coffee mug, which I love. 
or hot cocoa mug. I can't remember what the name. Okay, so we have some paper. So we have the cocoa mug and the striped paper on this side. It looks like these are mostly TN inserts, but I could cut them down and make them inserts for mine, or I could make them folders. I like the bows though. These bows are so cute, like a mix of the different kinds of bows. And look at this vellum. Or acetate, is it this one acetate or this one's acetate? No, this one's vellum. So we have the bows, the hollow bows, and we have the mugs. Oh my gosh. I love them. So great. Okay, so this subscription, if you are interested, I believe is 22, just about $23 a month. So I'm not gonna be able to fit them back in those plastics. So you obviously see you get a lot of stuff and she ships it from Singapore. Um, or from Malaysia. I think her shop is in Malaysia. So for that price, you get a lot of stuff and she ships it internationally if you're in the States, obviously, or even in Canada. But I really like the quality of her, of the, it's like a vinyl. It's a little bit thinner than vinyl though. Don't know how to explain it. It kind of feels like it's thinner. I do like the date, the dates as well. So Overall, so far I am pleased and I'm excited. I I haven't looked at next month's, like the January kits uh, theme, but if it's more of this and what she calls it is sparkly shit. So I'm not trying to be inappropriate, but that's what she calls it is sparkly shit. And it says cuddles in a package. I love it. I'm so excited to see what next month looks like. Um, so if you are interested, I will put the link down below and um, you can subscribe from there. But, oh, and don't forget the pen that it comes with. So great, I love it. Okay, next up. Now I have my Franken plan. I believe that's what it's called. But what I decided to do is that one of my resolutions is to save more money. So I bought a couple of the Big Happy Planners and extension packs for 2019. Now. For the last seven or so months, I have been using this Big Happy Planner, which I still love this rose gold front, which I think I'm going to use still. And I've kind of created my own planner with an undated planner. Some, by the way, this is very old. I'm gonna toss those. Um, some older, some folder, sorry. And then for school, I've created my own inserts because I didn't like any of the school inserts. I only teach one type of class. I teach it six times, but I needed to create my own page to do that. So I have this and then just some more folders. I have like my students. I have some note pages that I, um, these are from Tesenia, but I increased them and printed them black and white. So like I've kind of created my own planner and I want to continue using a system that's like this. I love this front and I will continue to use it because it's easily clean. It's very protected. It's kind of got a little bit of damage, but that's because I throw it everywhere. So it really is great. But what I want is I want it to be dated first of all. So <clears throat> for my dated one, I have this, which is a rose gold accent with some light blues and grays. And I like this because it is a vertical plan. Then I also got this, which is a monthly layout. It's a little bit smaller. It does have like the llama. Um, it's part of the, the uh, planner girls. Um, but this is the, um, Sorry, like I said, the month layout. So what you're going to see more in this one is like things that you are able to do to keep memory. And yes, there is a, a monthly spread, but what I can do is do a little bit of memory planning. This is like, am I keeping my goals? Am I doing habits? I love the top priorities. Um, I love the jot it down. Like I really like the setup. And then look at this, daily to-dos. Look at how many daily to-dos and notes. Like. This is the back of my planner just 
in an actual printed form, not created by me. So I am going to Franken plan, starting with this backbone, maybe. I like the rose gold rings, but is it big enough? I don't think so. I kind of, I don't love these pink, but they're the expanded ones and they are much easier to use. But maybe what I'll do is, it's kind of sticky. Ugh, that jelly glue is gross. Okay. And sorry if you see a shadow at all. I'm doing the best that I can. I am filming at home and I am going to order um, some studio lights soon, but again, I'm trying to save money. So let's pull that out. And I am going to take this front out and see how it looks on these ones. And if it doesn't look good, then I'll go back to my larger rings. Okay, so I actually really like that and I think I'm gonna keep this as a second because if you look at what I originally had, it's this like succulent theme. So there are a couple things I will pull out of this. Okay, sorry about that, I got interrupted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep in January, February, March, and April only because I feel like that's a good quarter's worth of work and then I'm going to take out May to December um, it looks like this one only has up until the end where it says December. Like, it doesn't have any extra above and beyond that. It says notes in the back, but that's not really notes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to put it just in this one because I don't like this one. I just like the contents of the inside. So I'm going to use this kind of as, like, a folder to hold it. All right. Okay, so that is done and as I was going through that I realized even more how much I love the designs of this like my favorite is my birthday month which is the hexagons and I just I love the monochromatic of this I love the nice geometrical lines and the fact that they mixed it with rose gold light pink black and white is just like ugh, amazing okay so now what I have is January to May no January to April almost May Okay, so it has like this May page. Now what I'm going to do, <clears throat> let's look at this one. This is the Spendwell uh, Finance Budget Edition Pack. It's an extension pack. And I, like I said, my goal, one of my goals for the 2019 year is to do better at my spending. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna put this in the back or in the middle. I am going to for sure keep my planner in the front, <clears throat> um, like the one that I just placed in. But I thought I'd go over what's in this just to kind of see. So it has a spend well section um, with a divider. And this is where you can like fill up the mason jar. And then on the back, it says month at a glance. And it looks like this is like continual sinking funds that some of them are sinking that <clears throat> um are ongoing every single month okay then this is work hard and stay humble and then it is a, looks like a blank calendar that's kind of interesting and then it says build checklist expense tracker and it says don't let the things you want make you forget about the things you have Okay, which is good because you know everybody saves money so that they can get something so this is a bunch of expense trackers then we have a budget review where did I have the most trouble what can I improve on this month and again a month at a glance so it looks like it's kind of a perpetual like January February March so 
how many months does it have? So there is one, two, three, four, five, six months. Oh, that makes sense, Dakisha. Okay, so you have six months of savings and then you have this another oh yep looks like another one okay and then you have a folder which is fun and then they have these bill due stickers january march april these are cool they'll help me date it i like that and the nice thing is that it, because it's an expansion pack i can always just buy another one when i'm ready to get more so i think I am going to add this in the back. It's cute, but I'm I am wanting to make sure that <clears throat> um, I keep every all of that stuff that's in the back. So I will for sure though keep that in. Don't worry. So if that is the case, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to January of this this planner, which I don't love. The future is bright. Like I love that, but I don't love the gold with the black it doesn't match the inside it's so weird to me like this has gold but like nowhere on the front cover do i see llamas and like sorry if you <laughs> hear my daughter she's having fun in the background so i am going to probably do through april again yeah go to that this one this one I'm actually gonna go to that so I do like this but so it's 2019 2020 if you can't see sorry 2019 2020 which I really do like and I like that it's on two pages but I created my own of this <clears throat> back before school started that I put all of the dots on so I'm actually going to keep that and I'm gonna do the birthdays And then I have some folders. I created or I printed off these bill due stickers um, that I can add to that financial one. And then my expansion, I'm gonna have to add in my school one in just a little bit. So I'm not going to take this with me. That doesn't mean that I will never, oh, I'm gonna have to take it with me. Dang it, I hate when planners do that. Like they put these on here it's the current month and then the past and the future months and then this is like oh, yeah and i like that dang it do i need it no i'm not going to use it let's do this Okay, so that leaves just this last note page so that I can include the May part of it. Um, now that I look back, maybe I should include it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have to include that perpetual calendar. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, shoot. So, I'm liking this so far. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to go through, actually I'm gonna add on to this budget calendar, or this budget planner. So you have the spend well. I do like these expansion packs because they, um, 
already come outside of rings. It's the hard thing about rings is that you have to take them in and out. So you can do a big chunk at a time. put this somewhere in there where probably not well maybe at the back but I have a couple folders that I could add in from um, my other planner that I'm pulling from let's see if I can get three months in I don't want to risk it the hard thing about shoving them in is that you risk possibly not getting them all in and um, ripping the pages so that is okay, I'll get it in eventually. Oh, this is starting to get really full. I might have to get some expansion rings in the rose gold, which is fine with me because I, I like the rose gold a lot. The only problem is then you have to take everything out and put it back in, unless somebody can help me and convince me otherwise because that's what I had to do before. You know what I noticed about all their expansion packs? <laughs> they all have this stripe down the side, which is kind of interesting. Like, it's like they're trying to identify that it's an expansion pack and it's like, well, we already know that it's an expansion pack. Okay, so this is a dual sided, which I like. I can keep my receipts in there and my stickers. So I have these stickers that came in the pack and then I have my own Bill Do stickers that I have in another folder so I'll keep that in there okay so now let's close it oh shoot goodness really getting thick okay that was harder than I thought it was gonna be it, like made me break a sweat but and it's like super thick like that's why they have expansion ones because like it's so thick that it's getting caught. I'll have to get some expansion ones. The only expansion ones I have are these pink ones and I don't love them for the rose gold. I wanna stick with the rose gold. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through and pull out all of my school planner starting with next week because then I don't have to I'll start with this week. Okay, so January 7th to 11th. Shoot, I might have to take out two months. I might have to take out April and April on this one because it is really, really jammed up. Okay. So, wow, I fit the leftovers of all three months in here. I noticed that I have more room in this one than I have in this one. I think it's because I used this thicker binding, but I really like the thick binding and I didn't want to forfeit that just because I wanted a look of some sort, so, or needed more. Like, happy planners, you can always go back and forth. You can always remove, you can always add. That's why they have expansion packs, so. Okay, now, like I said, I'm gonna go back through and add my school ones to these. So January, the 7th through 11th, 13th through the 18th. Hey, some buttery. January 21st through the 25th. January 28th to February 1st. 
These are just like days of the week, Monday through Fridays. And what I do is I, I made it on PowerPoint and then I printed it off and cut around the edges so that it, I can still see like by week. It's like just a regular insert, it's kind of nice. And then all that I have left for right now is the 11th through the 15th. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm gonna look through and see if there's anything else that I need. So I think I want the birthdays and my perpetual calendar. Okay, and I don't need November. There's a folder, but I don't need that. What I'll do is I'll go through and I'll write out everything that I need to do for the months. Okay, here is where I need to grab this other one. Ah, oh, it's rose gold, it matches now. These are my students. Um, probably don't need the checklist. I already did my holiday checklist. Oh, that is interesting how that ripped. Okay. <laughs> Do you like my blog brainstorming? Okay. So. That is picked through, and actually, I can take my blog brainstorming out, and then what I can do is just use these as the back pages, and I have my own storage. It's just one of the fold-up containers from Michael's to hold all my Happy Planner stuff. Um, okay, so, students, perpetual school calendar, not perpetual, sorry. So, let's see. Oh, cool. These are cool. I like these. Okay. So, we'll do this up front, or we'll do it right here. Yeah, we'll do it. No, we'll do it up front. And I would leather, just like, you know, planning... Uh, Kel, Heather Kel, um, but I'm not a good letterer, so, and I'm going to be real with myself. There's no need to try. What I did this last time around is I just uh, ran it through the printer. I lined it up perfectly and then ran it through my printer. And I'm just going to put my blog planner in here just in case. I might use this planner, or even this one, because it has brainstorming and stuff. I can jot it down. This is daily to-dos. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll transition this over to that. Okay, then this is what I'm gonna do. I've got these two dividers that I got. Um, I don't know what I got them in, <clears throat> but it was a Happy Planner set. It looks like it's a classic Happy Planner set, because it's shorter. That's usually what it means if it's like, two to three rings shorter, it means that it's from a classic happy planner, but I am all about crossing over. So I'm gonna put one for this week and I think I'm gonna do rose gold. I've been using this one to um, emphasize where I am in my planner, but I'm gonna use rose gold. And then <clears throat> I'm going to do this other one, probably right here. I'm excited to use this. This is like habits and stuff. So let's do a quick flip through and see what we think. Oh, love my life. I love that. Okay. My calendar that I found online for free. And then I went through and put um, some stickers from one of the original happy planner books representing what different things are so we are obviously now on 2019 and I need to go through and kind of check different things so and we have birthdays and we have students and we have blog planner which I'm going to switch to this goal planner then I will figure out what I want to do to do that these are the 2019 2020 days January write it down these are like goals different things like that it tells you I love this it tells you the different dates to remember and then the month view the vertical layout February all the way to March and then that's where that one ends and then I have this other one that is like the goalkeeper one 
January to March. And then that's when the financial planner starts. So this is my version of Franken planning. I will have to go through and date these, figure out what my financial plans are, and maybe I'll video it. I haven't decided because I don't need everybody knowing what my financials look like, but hope you like it. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see some pictures of me using my planner, please check my Instagram out. It's at the Prince Pack. And um, I, one of my goals is to also post more on my um, website. So please make sure you check out all of those, those links and I hope you have a wonderful day.